Hello friends, this is Techlanders and I'm back with an amazing video. If you haven't subscribed us yet, hit the subscribe button. And after this video, if you like this video, hit the like button as well. In today's video, I'll be talking about Windows 11. And I'm talking about Windows 11 after about a month of usage. So here's my review and the things which I like and do not like about Windows 11. So I'll be sharing my experiences with you so that if you're still on Windows 10 or if you have migrated to Windows 11 but still have the option to revert back to Windows 10, you can make your decision and choose the right thing. So let's get started with the review. First of all, what we see on the screen is the UI and the major changes that we notice in Windows 11 is the UI itself. So let's start with the UI. This is the default wallpaper that has come with Windows 11 for me and I like it, really like it. So it's quite nice and it gives you that blue theme. So that's good. Coming on to the other things, everything in Windows 11 is rounded. Here you can see rounded corners. So there are no sharp edges here. And even in every folder, when you notice the edges, everything's rounded here. So that's nice. It gives you a feeling of using something like Linux. And that's something I feel that it has been taken from the Linux side. Other than that, the major thing which you notice on the home screen first is the taskbar and the icons aligned on it. Everything's now aligned to a center and all these icons are present here. So here we have the start button and on opening the start, we get the start bar at the center of the screen. So this is a major change that we notice in Windows 11. And here we have the type to search option and the applications that we have installed on our PC and either they are recommended to you. We have a combination of all these applications here. Then down here we have the recommended uh, files which we have recently used here. So if we click on all apps, we get a, get a list of all the installed applications. Whereas if we click on more, we get a list of the recently used apps. Then here we have the power button, which houses three options for now at least, sleep, shutdown, restart. And that's it with the start bar. So uh, the start bar looks good. And this uh, reminds me of some of the Linux uh, OS, which have something like this uh, center aligned. So coming on to the other thing, which you would notice in the UI changes, here is the uh, icons which are present on the taskbar. The icons are changed a bit. And on opening this section, we get a few settings here in front of us. Uh, here's the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth settings, airplane mode, focus accessibility, and battery saver if you're in battery mode. And here we have the brightness seek bar and the sound seek bar. Uh, here we have the battery percentage. And if we click on it, we'll be redirected to the battery settings. Also here we have the edit quick settings option and the settings button to move to settings. So these are the major changes uh, in Windows 11 UI. And in my personal opinion, I like the changes and they're quite good. But some things that I didn't like is the options that we get on right clicking on the screen. Here the UI is changed a bit and all the options which were present on Windows 10 are also present here. But here down there we see an option called show more options. On clicking this show more options, we get the old style Windows 10 list and the UI is changed back to the Windows 10 style. So this is something I didn't get it. If they wanted to add the few options 
they could have added it here in the new UI itself. Why they have created a different list altogether uh, similar to the Windows 10. So this is something I didn't like. It looks like patchwork. So that was something I didn't like. Coming on to the performance. The performance on Windows 11 is slightly improved compared to the Windows 10. And you will notice this thing when you will use the same applications on Windows 11, which you had used on Windows 10 as well. So there might be a slight change of uh, performance on the positive side. Considering the performance of laptop on Windows 11, uh, the performance has significantly improved. Also, the boot time on Windows 11 has significantly reduced and your PC starts up quickly compared to the Windows 10. So these are the things which uh, are improved considering performance. Also, if you're a gamer and you use a laptop for gaming, you will notice significant improvements in gaming experience as well. Coming on to the battery backup, the battery backup on Windows 11 is also improved by a bit. And uh, this is also noticeable when you move from Windows 10 to Windows 11. One thing which has improved the battery backup for my laptop is that we have the adaptive refresh rate mode on Windows 11. Uh, this is something which will help users with laptops having higher refresh rate. So if the screen is not having any activity or there's no movement on the screen, then the FPS is reduced to lower rates so as to save battery. Like for example, here I have an application called Ookla. So if I open this app, here we can see the refresh rate. And once there is no activity on the screen, instead of staying on 144 Hz, the refresh rate is lowered to about 70 to 80. So this is quite helpful in order to save battery. This feature significantly lowers the amount of battery drain for gaming laptops. Coming on to the app compatibility thing, we know that for, uh, migrating from Windows 10 to Windows 11 would be hard for people or those who use uh, a small set of applications in their daily lives. So if you're thinking to migrate from Windows 10 to Windows 11, so you need to take care that all the applications that you use work on Windows 11 as well. In my case, I use Eclipse ID, Android Studio, and for editing YouTube videos, I use Filmora. So in my case, all these applications work fine with Windows 11 and they're supported by Windows 11. So I have no issues, but if you're thinking to migrate from Windows 10 to Windows 11, you need to make sure that all these applications work fine on Windows 11 as well. So this was my short and sweet review of the Windows 11. I hope that it gave you some idea about Windows 11 and it might have helped you to make a decision for migrating on Windows 11 from Windows 10. So if this video was helpful, hit the like button. And if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Jai Hind.